Well, here we are on a Sunday, you know, a lawn care service. Our yards are always the last to get done. So this is my backyard and I mounted the camera on top of the swing set, uh, playground, so to speak. It seemed like a diff uh, decent place and uh, give me a different view anyway, I give you guys a different view from uh, normal. One thing I noticed was going back to some of my old videos, um, one of the very first videos I made, I believe it was called Mowing with the Button, and that was when I had nothing but old used walk behinds, and that's all I ever used. Um, until my business got to the point where I could afford to buy brand new mowers like I did last year and then this Tiger Cat here this year, I just want to let you guys know, some of you newer guys just starting off or some guys that have only got a year into this, don't let watching other people's videos discourage you. I never thought in a million years that my business would get to the level where I could afford to go out and spend 13 grand on a mower like this, um, you know, with the bagging system and everything. But I, I have. I've grown to that point and I take a lot of pride in what I do and I've never, ever put the dollar before a customer. Um, and, it, and my business speaks for itself so I've grown quite a bit I have a very very good reputation in my area and uh, two years in a row now my local town business association has named me lawn care service of the year they've provided me plaques and uh, did a little write-up in the local papers about it yeah that's not something that happens very often and uh, I'm not bragging about it but I'm very proud of it um, it just goes to show but anyway looking back in that old video and seeing that it's uh it just shows that this this is what you can get to and in far beyond me there's a lot of guys on here with companies 10 times the size of me and it's just what you can get to if you really work hard at it and it's where you really want to be i never wanted to be a multi-million dollar business and i still don't um i'm happy with where i'm at and i'd like to grow a little more and i will grow a little more but um, I'm very happy and I'm very comfortable where I'm at um, but it just uh, it just goes to show now you know this time of year a lot of us we watch a lot of old uh, videos over and over that we've watched many times just because we're dying to get back out in the mowers the season's coming to an end um, and one that I really do like to watch is uh, you know I watch a lot so please don't anybody get angry or uh, think I'm leaving you out but um, I watch a lot of channels and a lot of people's videos, but the ones that I really like to watch over and over again is uh, I watch a lot of Brian's from Top Notch. I love his original series from the first year or so he was making them when he didn't get too out of control with the uh, edits and stuff like that. And it was just about him and his everyday and basic videos. A lot of the stuff like Greg used to put out, you know, it wasn't. He didn't make videos just to uh, add them into insane movies and all this extra stuff. It was just him mowing and talking about what he does and very down to earth, very basic. And that's the stuff I love to watch. I think in the last 24 hours, I've been pretty bored this weekend, just screwing around. I'm pretty caught up in everything. I think I've watched the original 115 um, vlogs of Brian's uh, recordings. Yeah, I watched every one of them at least once. It's, it's just the kind of stuff I like to watch. Back to basics, um, you know, just plain Jane stuff. I put a few little edits in mind, but I never really get out of control. Um, but, uh, and the same thing with Martin from uh, Mowing and Growing. He's, you know, he's just very basic stuff, and he likes to just film stuff. With, uh, he gets a little crazy with them edits sometimes, but very, very good quality videos. But the, the point I'm trying to make is looking back on my earlier videos, um, I used to just mulch this up all the time because I didn't have the bagging systems that I have now and it was no big deal it, it worked great my yard looked phenomenal when I was done hell it didn't look much different than this um, I'm just using the bagging systems now because I have it uh, there, there's no there's no rules or laws that say you have to have it so just just do your thing guys and, and use what you have to use and do the best job you can possibly do with your equipment and don't think that you can't make the same kind of money or produce the same type of results just because some of these other guys with videos have insane equipment uh, you can do it with very basic I did it for years a lot of guys did but uh just spent a little bit of time with my little man here and he helped me he went around the whole yard picking up sticks like crazy and helped me get the yard cleaned up for the winter we took the sides off the trampoline like we do every year in the netting and we put a tarp over and a hundred bungee cords underneath hold it on it works every year and 
that's what we got so i'll be making one more video for our straggler cleanup i have to do this week but uh this is pretty much going to tie up my season uh pretty much to the end of it sadly but uh thanks for watching guys